Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Although you would think that in front of us stands the usual example of motherboard, this one actually has a pre-installed CPU on it. The ASRock Q2900 ITX carries the Intel's J2900 quad-core Pentium CPU, which is part of the Beltrail D mobile platform, and thus it will only accept SOD RAM, as you can see it on the box, but despite of that it will be more than enough for handling media consumption, light work or internet browsing. As the name suggests, this is also a mini ITX motherboard, so it will go great in pair with some small case and a home theater or office environment. On the back of the box you can see that although this model can't afford features like some of its bigger ATX brothers, ASRock still managed to pack a lot of interesting utilities in it, like the mini PCI Express slot. Back there you can also see a picture of the motherboard and some basic specifications for it. Inside of the box you'll get IO shield, user manuals and optical disk with drivers and utility software, a screw for installing the mini PCI Express module, and two SATA cables. And here's the motherboard itself. Right from the start you can see that the motherboard is dominated by this big chunk of aluminium heatsink, which cools off the quad-core Pentium. Around it we have two SOD RAM slots for up to 16GB of 1333 MHz DDR3, and right next to one of them on the right outer edge of the board we have the 24-pin ATX power connector, and that's without the presence of the EPS power connector since the platform doesn't draw that much power. Moving to the bottom part of the motherboard you can see a lot of headers and ports, starting from the mini PCI Express slot, standard USB 2 and 3 headers, audio, front panel, fan headers, two SATA 2 and two SATA 3 ports, and last but not least, the PCI Express 2.0 X1 slot. You could probably buy X1 to X16 adapter and put in a bit stronger GPU on the board, but that begs the question if the Pentium would be strong enough to fully utilize it in that case. Going to the back of the board to check out input and output connections, here we have a pretty decent amount of ports, PS2 keyboard and mouse ports, VGA, DVI-D and HDMI video outputs, two USB 3 and two USB 2 ports, gigabit LAN and a 7.1 channel audio analog output from the Realtek ALC892 audio codec alongside with digital one. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the ASRock Q2900 ITX motherboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.